So we're beginning a dis we're beginning our discussion today by considering um, an individual who uh, was one of the first to consider uh, what everything was made out of. So Democritus took a very scientific approach in saying that everything that uh, is visible is made out of something that is not visible. He coined the term atomus or atoms. Uh, the literal definition for uh, atoms is not divisible, not being able to cut any further. So Democritus stated that if you were to take matter and divide it, and continue to divide it smaller into smaller and smaller pieces, you would eventually get to a point where you would not be able to divide it any further. And that is when you get to the point of what everything is made out of, atoms. So Democritus, again, took this, uh, took this approach, but uh, he wasn't able to definitively prove it. So you have other philosophers of that time that challenged him. One such it was Aristotle. Aristotle took more of a, a more philosophical approach to what everything was made out of. And Aristotle said that all visible matter is made out of other visible matter. Uh, and there's four main components to what everything is made out of, and that being the first, uh, earth, fire, water, and wind. And again, since Democritus was not able to uh, refute him, he didn't, had, he didn't have a, an electron microscope to prove him wrong, Aristotle's ideas took hold and were basically uh, firmly established for about 2,000 years until you get to the 19th century and you have the father of modern atomic theory, John Dalton. John Dalton was a school teacher who, uh, like Democritus, thought that everything was made out of something called atoms, which is um, particles of matter that are not divisible. So once you get into that level, you can no longer uh, get any smaller. Uh, and we'll, we'll revisit that idea in just a few minutes. But before we do, uh, I want to talk about the four ideas that Dalton helped to establish and these ideas were the cornerstone for uh, what we know to be the um, basically the foundation for theoretical chemistry, uh, for modern chemistry, that is. So idea number one is all matter is made of atoms. Atoms are indivisible and indestructible. And number two, all atoms of a given element are identical in mass and properties. Three, compounds are formed by a combination of two or more different kinds of atoms. And number four, a chemical reaction is a rearrangement of atoms. So in the following uh, slide, you can see an example of two of his ideas that are firmly established uh, by this simple equation here. So you'll notice here that in this equation we have a hydrogen gas molecule, an oxygen gas molecule. You have some reaction. You have some reaction forming a water molecule. So again, a reaction, a chemical reaction, is basically just a rearrangement of atoms. So from H2, O2, well, you actually need two H2 molecules, and you form two water molecules. Okay. So on this end, you have four hydrogen atoms, and on this end, you still have four hydrogen atoms, two, hydro two oxygen atoms, and two oxygen atoms, which also goes to demonstrate the, uh, the law of conservation of mass that we've discussed in class. Uh, another idea was the law of definite proportions that a compound, like water, is always going to made, be made out of the ratio of two hydrogens to, to one oxygen, always. And a water molecule that is not of that ratio is not a water molecule, it's, it's something else. So again, John Dalton's ideas, uh, although he may not have had it all correct, uh, he still helped to establish the modern... Um, the modern chemistry that we have today. So Democritus and John Dalton agreed both that, again, if you divide matter continually, you get to a point where you can't split it any longer. And modern physics has actually shown us that that's actually not correct. Because as you know already, you know you can go from a molecule, break it down to its individual atoms, and then break down an, an individual atom to its uh, component parts, which uh, made out of a, made out of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Well, now we know, thanks to uh, the most expensive scientific experiments ever, that you can actually take subatomic particles like protons, cause them to collide, 
you can cause them to collide and as you see once a proton collides it releases a whole mess of other uh, particles quarks okay and you have hundreds hundreds of different types of particles that make up that make up protons, neutrons, and electrons. So here's a, a little picture here of a proton being opened up, and lo and behold, there is even more smaller particles that make that proton up. So Democritus and John Dalton, very smart individuals, uh, came up with this theory, but as you can see, they had no way of uh, seeing if their atoms could be broken up any further, and as we can now see, it's, it is.